My name is Tracy Deuce. You on Taco Talks TV. Gang. I'm tuned in with the voice of the U. Taco Talks, man. Shout out Taco Talks. You got, you got some what? I'm CHV Top Soul, and I'm on Taco Tuesday. Yeah, be good on here on Taco Talks TV. Lord, dude, Luciano. Man, go over his Gucci gun. You see his car face in a motherfucking building. <laughs> Body murder, man. You know what it is, man. It's Baby Up, aka Slim Rich. Man. Why is he at his Taco Talk TV. King of the city. Big down, being a drug rich peso. Three commas, man. I'm Molly, man. This is K-Pray. 3-0. It's me on Taco Talk TV. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I got family members that work for the government and they tell me, they like, man, this internet shit will get you back the watching. fuck up. Them people That's is. the reason why I'm not cool with a lot of niggas now I was hanging with some niggas. They kept posting they stick, you know, they dogs and shit. I'm like, fool, I'm getting worried. Y'all about to get, your shit about to get blitzed in. Man, fuck that shit, bro. Yeah. Fuck that shit, bro. I got ready to the ox slide. Yeah. I'm like, I not cool with them because I'm just trying. When you be, when you try to be the alleviator or whatever the fuck it's called in a situation, you consider like the bitch nigga. Yeah. I'm still living. Yeah. And, and, and that's why I, that's why I was excited to meet you and yeah. to talk about all of this is because yeah. like this is an important conversation to have. And I was just talking about it yesterday. Like yeah. I do got a couple handful of millionaire friends, like for yeah. real, like dead ass. So when I think about it, some of the stuff that we've been taught and programmed and just going with, yeah, it ain't the right way. But it's like, damn, how do you get that? So that these people is like, you know what? Boom, let me go put this stick down or let me keep my stick tight or let me get my, my carry license, my concealed carry license, keep that fat on me, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, And make it entertaining, sure. right? But it's hard because some of them steps is skipped in between. Like you might see a rapper with a stick on them, but you may not see that they went to the concealed carry class and they went to the range 60 times to that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's this nigga on YouTube called Charleston White. And the nigga was like, uh, who who control the nigga who controls the images can control your mind. So in turns he's saying, like, whatever we see controls our mind. Like, nigga, just look at 6 9 for example, when he pulled up the O block. We thought he was in the fucking hood. He went when the birds was chirping. But we think he a real nigga. This internet shit. On everything I love, bro, I got friends that's dead because of this internet shit. Nah, for real. This shit is the Matrix. Nah. But we ain't even gonna get too deep. That uh, That's a nah, whole for real. different thing. They gonna example. take the video down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've real and seen videos, not my own videos, but I done real seen videos where they not talking about nothing illegal, but then people like, fuck no, you never had have this information. Yeah, take it off the internet. Nah, that's, that's what happened with me and my man Deuce, man. We was just giving game about the music industry because we've been. I was side, I signed a deal at 17 and I exposed that shit. Um, and I feel like it's an X on my back. Right now, I feel like they looking at me just because yeah. I exposed that. Yeah, I was yeah. signed to Virgin Records, bro. Right. By a nigga, I ain't even name drop, yeah. but they fucked me, fool. Like, they they fucked me over, fool. Like, that shit was wild. I, that Rico Nasty feature, I don't even get paid off that shit. Right. Shout out Raw, he actually got that feature for me. My man Raw, he not here, my manager. Um, he got that feature for me, and uh, the label got control of that that because I ain't had my paperwork right, and they getting that money. I'm like, but shit. but that's that's like that's a critical piece because people don't be knowing like bro, I was I was seventeen, bro. Yeah, and it's like it's like how could you know? But yeah, like it's really up to us as you know builders of this craft or like yeah. inventors of this craft or whatever master of your craft. Yeah. It's on you to do the background research. Cause Shout out Deuce. Deuce, I got a plaque for my, well, this one down, my album recovery. I got a plaque on the nigga, my man Deuce. Show me the blueprint. He got family in the industry. I got yeah. family in the industry. He came with the blueprint. We used my, his plant. I was a guinea pig of the shit. Yeah. Woke up one day, I got an email from Distro Kid saying I was certified for a plaque. Yeah. Man, that's fake ass shit. Yeah. Man, I was like, so I look at the streams, bro. I had fucking two, uh, five, five, half a mil. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I lied. It was 2,500. Two thousand five hundred streams. Yeah. Then I got the email. I was certified for a plaque because I hit half a million. I said, what the fuck? I, I just, seen that joint. Yeah. I seen that plaque. But but all right, if you could give just a little bit of sauce to any upcoming artist that might watch this joint, 
what's just kind of the, not even the quick steps or maybe where you go to look for, right? And yeah. then what you really need to do, because we know artists that's hitting 500,000 on a couple of songs, but they don't got no plaque. One word, paperwork. Paperwork, yeah. not snitch paperwork. Paperwork, get your shit right. Yeah. I had people with my, I got my own studio, y'all can call artists, Egyptian yeah. sounds. Yeah. Yeah, stop yeah, yeah, but listen, yeah, I had up. people in, this, in, my, in the studio did numbers, man, dudes. Get your paperwork right, bruh. Find out what society you with. Yeah. All right, bruh. Had females in there too. Okay, okay. Yeah. They end up getting fucked. They could have made 500 off one album, but they making five dollars. We say get your paperwork right. Yeah. They don't listen. They just they they just think we we cappers. All right, his proof is in the pudding. All right, so yeah. so tell me how you met Deuce. <laughs> and then we got, and then we got some more to get into. Man, I met Deuce, bro. Deuce, <laughs> back with the kids, squad days and shit. Deuce was just a silent nigga, bro. But one day outside, I was fake shadow boxing. I hit the nigga and shit, and he was about to. Deuce was known for the steals so to the day with. Man, yeah. He got hands. Yeah. So I was like, chill, bro. Man, <laughs> I was fucking with. You. I hit him with, like accidentally. Yeah. And then since that day, we was cool. But I found out Deuce was a real nigga multiple times. When I performed at this girl pop party, her name, Ryan, her name, she a rapper too, shout out her. She, uh, I opened up for her, her birthday party, her sweet 16 or some shit. And we was on stage, I went to the side, I'm like, deuce, it was just like a vibe. I'm like, this a real nigga, fool, he just, anything I went through, good or bad, he was with me. Like, when I went, when I went away for a little bit, he made sure the shit was, the fort was held down, like, Dude's just my right hand man. He, you know, he called his mother my mama. Yeah. Well, you know, the yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all locked in. Y'all locked in. Yeah, for sure. Damn. All right. And so, what did it take to activate your mind to learn all of the stuff that you know now, right? Or to, or to even do the research or to even want to go through and do the paperwork. Music side, you talking about music? Okay, uh, music, I music, I ain't just overall, right. I think you do okay. got a, you got a good grasp on like, okay. you know, well-rounded knowledge. Music, when I got fucked in that contract, bruh, you know what I'm yeah. saying, like, I'm not getting paid, I'm getting pennies and my shit hitting numbers, Rick on, me and Rick on Nasty song still, still doing numbers, bruh. Yeah. But Deuce, when he started robbing, Deuce, Deuce been a business nigga since I met him, so he like a, I was just doing music. This nigga like, no nigga, we need to do stats all. I'm like, bro, let's just have fun. But then I'm like, whoa, nah, nigga, let's have fun and get paid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So him, he he brought the paperwork, he, he 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 proposed the idea, getting shit copyrighted and all that. I'm like, all right, bro, let's try it, bro. It cost, but it was invest, got investing yourself. And I'm like, all right, let's try it. Ooh, ooh, fuck it. I woke up, I'm getting. Four different checks. Bruh, I done paid some fucking bills. Shit, five different checks. I done paid some bills with that music money, bruh. I done paid my shout out Suave Beats. I paid that nigga off recovery. Shout out ABB, shout out Spence Todd, all them niggas. I they getting paid, bruh, just on the simple fact. My man, Deuce, I'ma always say that shit. I don't care if it get a noise just cuz, bro. The nigga brought the blueprint. I call it the deuce print. Yeah. He brought the deuce print. I'm like, oh, let's try this shit. Nigga, my first before when I dropped withdrawals, a song I did, the jump with the mic, yeah. I got an interview from a a, a, a radio uh New York yeah. little podcast, some shit. They on the Breakfast Club. They interviewed okay. me for the free. Okay. Just cause the, the fucking my name getting out there. Yeah. It was out there, now it's getting globe. Yeah. I'm known everywhere. Okay. Humbly though. Okay, Humbly, okay, though. okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Deuce, bro, I just gotta spend my man Deuce for the paperwork. I can't, I'll be wrong if I, my team, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. That's as simple, because it's not just him, it's my team, bro. And, and I think that that's like a critical point where people don't understand that you really do need your team. Yeah. Or not your team, but a team to start with. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta go through and vet people and let them go through the interview process and see if they gonna hold you down or if they gonna flake on you or if they gonna Bruh. show up on you. know what I'm saying? Whole lot of shit going to that. I done had niggas on my team that's trying to replicate what we doing but they failing. Cause you can replicate but I don't know if you a man of God, whoever you believe yeah, in, yeah. we move with faith. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You do cruddy shit, cruddy shit gonna happen to you. I don't do cruddy shit bro. I yeah. just, since my father passed bro, he told before he died, he said bro, just get your, I was always a spiritual nigga but he just said just please be a 
a, a righteous nigga, but handle your business by any means. Yeah. I don't cry, niggas, bro. Simply before this interview, I made sure you was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw a plan, my yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah. come back. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. Now nah, for real, and that's that's important though. Yeah. That's important though because it is stuff like that. I definitely am a, a, a man of God for okay, sure. You for know what I'm sure, saying? So sure. I'm moving like that. And I'm looking. I'm like, okay, boom, 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 boom. And that's how you check and see if the vibes add up, the very thing add up, and I think. I think it just leads us to a great point, but yeah. the great point is now you translating this this game into the music. Where well, uh, you just got all you really gotta do is have your ears open, right, and rewind it a couple of times. So you, so you listen, listen. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm so, listening to the joint in depth, and I'm looking. I'm like, okay, bro, okay. I'm like saying well, shit. Can you give me an example, bro? Like, what, what? um. I, I was listening to the. I had a joint on shuffle before okay. I came over here. Okay. I heard a joint with Deuce. Okay, cool. I heard another joint. I had a joint where you you had. It was a couple of them. So one of them you had the little girl on there, the little girl that was At talking. About, yeah, with a poem, right? And then oh, I think it might be that same song. Okay. okay. I think it's that's that, Psalm seventeen. That's I, Psalm seventeen. I think is that. I think it's either that same song or a different song where it's like these people singing at the beginning. Homecoming. Okay, okay. Could, but, but listen, hey, home, all right, listen, nah. All right, tell us about song 17, though, because that's, that's what I like that. That's what I my engineers on my label, I mean, my producers on my label, AB Beats, Spence, Wave, and Ty Winehouse, bro. Motherfucking, bro, you want me to tell you how that shit came apart? Okay, cool. So outside of music, I work with kids. I'm the, I'm the voice of the youth on my side. Yeah. So this shit, gonna, we yeah, going to collide, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. So, I'm just realizing niggas coming up to me just saying, bro, I wanna be a rapper, but fuck that nigga, I'm trying to kill this nigga. I'm yeah. like, oh wait, that's killing us. Yeah. So Psalm 17 is in the Bible, it's this it's, it's this one quote that say, save me from this wicked people of the world. And I put in quotes or the little jumps, the quotation, whatever for parentheses, yeah. it say, save the children. It just I just had to make a song just talking about how I'm on earth and just it's fucked up. Let's say these kids from Stop smoking fentanyl and killing yeah. niggas and back doing each other and just doing wicked shit, bro. Like, that shit was, I was bamboozled too at 13. Like, I thought that made you a G nigga. Yeah. I got older and I had to go away for a little bit. We gonna get into that. I yeah. realized, I'm like, fuck no. It's all about love, but handle your business at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have been, when you can, I could have been like, man, I'm like, oh, I'm with this nigga yeah. talk. Yeah. My, I was going for my shades. I'm like, fuck yeah. no. Yeah. Like, man, fuck this nigga. <laughs> Could've got on camera like, man, fuck, fuck everybody that's, that's, that's not with me. I'm gonna kill y'all niggas. That's not me, fool. You can ask all my niggas back there, this is how I act. Yeah. On the lens, off the lens. Yeah. So, th that song, just I just had to say the kids, bro. I'm passionate about kids because I don't want them going where I went or going through what I went through, bro. That shit, that shit sent me to a fucking mental hospital. 